Well, thank you for being here. It's exciting to see the big crowd and, and uh, two of our most best public speakers to my left and my right. So <laughs> you'll get to hear a lot of good, good uh, talk from them. But no, really excited to see you here. This is the type of crowd we want here. This is what we're trying to do. And again, this, you're part of a, a movement here, not a moment. It's uh, real impressed by the team south of the bridge. Obviously, they played hard and didn't stop. And I'm more impressed by our guys, but, but I'll give them you know, a, a touch. I, I thought they played hard and all the way to the, to the buzzer. So it's uh, been real exciting personally for me as I get to know past players to see the support that's been poured out uh, from alumni and, and all that they're doing. And, and there was a couple guys here around the last couple days. I think one of the most important parts about what we're doing here is the culture. And we talk a lot to the guys about how they respond in life, right? It's easy when you get knocked down to get back up. When you have success, how do you handle success? And there's two extremes there. And I thought the guys did a real good job tonight of adapting and adjusting and, and performing some of the tweaks that we made and, and asked them about. So credit to the guys. Uh, one of the neatest parts for me is to see all the, the young kids in here and to see our guys spend the time that they have with the uh, Junior Purple Eagles is, is pretty exciting to me. Just shows that we're part of the university here to give back and, and we want to keep growing this and we're in a relationship with the Junior Purple Eagles and it's great to see you young guys here. So thanks for, thanks for coming and love the smiles. Uh, the offense uh, did a real good job tonight creating chances. Uh, the D, they just told me we blocked 20 shots, which is, is uh, pretty impressive. Obviously, Wills was great in that for us tonight. I thought he did an awesome job and was calm and, and gave our guys a lot of confidence. And then the special teams, you know, obviously our power play has been going, but tonight it was the PK. And, uh, again, a credit to the guys and the willingness and the commitment to do what it took. So, Jason James. <coughs> no overtime. <laughs> yeah. We just want to get everybody home on a Sunday night. Make sure you can have Sunday dinner together. So. It's just, I mean, your thoughts on how evenly matched these teams were, specifically after they addressed their goaltending situation, the four previous games all went to overtime before it obviously phased. Yeah, it's, uh, it, I think it's the league, right? The league's doing a great job. I mean, these guys swept North Dakota earlier in the year, so it just goes to show where the league's coming. We're going to add scholarships. If you, if you don't show up and you play a team in our league, you're going to lose. And uh, that, that's the way it works. So uh, I think the league's coming a long way. The two teams are really evenly matched. Uh, it's, uh, and I don't know if the standings even matter when you, when you play these guys in, in any sport on campus. I don't think it matters. So it's, it was a good boxing match and just we came out on the right side. Uh, Justin, Jared, um, coaching addresses as well. Reporting penalty, unsportsmanlike misconduct, elbowing. Obviously, it was a physical game. It was a gritty game. How tough is that to kind of walk that line of being gritty, being physical, but also kind of staying out of the box? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was a physical series, like all the way throughout. All three games were pretty physical, but you just got to know when to toe the line and not take any bad penalties and <coughs> retaliate and just beat a punch to the face here and there. But yeah, no, along with that, just like I think our PK is like super good. So I mean, we've been buzzing with that. So when people take penalty, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, we're pretty strong in that area. Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Each of you guys both just kind of describe how tired you must have been after <laughs> playing as many minutes as you did over the last three days. Yeah, I mean, we were gassed, but I think it just comes down to after the games, coach talks a lot about out sciencing, and that's like rolling out, stretching, so I think uh, that really helped us for sure. I think our trainers do a really good job. Scotty does a really good job mm -hmm. in the back room behind the scenes, and he really helps us out, get our bodies like ready to go. For every game, so you compare how you felt coming into today's game to how you feel on a typical game day. Uh, obviously, I think everyone was pretty sore. Like even them, like they're pretty sore too. So it's kind of like even, I guess. That's it. Sure. I'm fresh. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, tell about Ben Soke. Three goals in three games for you guys. Two in the first. Not game later tonight. I mean, what do you guys see from him? What do you guys see from him as the playoffs go on? Now? Just to watch Ben like throughout the whole year, like you can just see he's making strides, like working hard after practice and in practice he's hard to play match up against, and just like it's really shown like his true game in the playoffs here. He's gotten really hot, so glad to have him. 
Absolutely. I mean, his confidence is up here, and hockey is all about confidence. If you don't have confidence, you won't be able to play well. So it, it, hopefully you can carry that into the next round. Eric, what was it like scoring today? I mean, obviously it was a winner game, go home game for both of you guys, and to just play from the front be able to get that lead. Well, it was pretty surreal. I mean, trust me, a really good shot on goal, and the puck was just sitting there. I didn't really have to do much, so it's pretty, pretty crazy. I'm not a big goal scorer, but it was just sitting there and we go. One more each guess. Brian Wilson, um, four goals allowed in the first two games. He shut it down tonight. Going forward, he's got a huge one. Another one Absolutely. He's definitely our backbone. I mean, he's the guy we want in that. He's he's been really good for us. Been really proud of him. That's for sure. Yeah, as a D man, like knowing you have Brian behind you, it's it's huge. It gives us a lot of confidence to play aggressive and knowing that he'll stop the first one is huge for us in the back end. What was the sense at the end of the game, final two minutes and change when they had two attacker advantage? You guys were clinging to one goal. I mean, I we stayed calm. Coach says every time both start firing and stay calm. You know, do our thing. So I thought we did that for sure. Played tough at the end, so it was good. Uh, at this point, I'd like to open the rest of the room up to questions. So if you have questions, now's your time. Go ahead. What did it feel like when you, when you got scored on? <laughs> uh, like I said, just stay calm. <laughs> you know, got to stay calm and keep playing. <laughs> you know what? I, I love the question, and I, I think it's. Uh, this is why we want all of you here. This is the best part, and it's these guys got to answer these, right? So it's awesome. Great question. How did it feel when you won? Uh, it's the best feeling ever. Nothing, nothing can top it. It's amazing. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. How big was this game compared to the Oh, it was huge. Like we've struggled against them in the recent years, and to beat them in the playoffs and knock them out and go on to the next round is huge for us. It's exciting. What was the key? What do you think the key was to winning the game? Uh, just a good game plan and taking care of ourselves. Obviously, it was a long series and not a lot of rest time. I mean, it was pretty it was a tough series, so we just had to bear down and get through it. How do you think? Um your team is matched up uh, up against Air Force. Good question. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys are taking notes in the front here. <laughs> we're uh, we're gonna sell it. We're gonna celebrate and enjoy the night. I think that's the the first step. Uh, the nice part we played Air Force at their place earlier this year, and we split with them. And uh, I really like where our group is at. We're excited about where our group's at. So they're a fast team, and we're a fast team. So it'll be fun to be a part of. And I would certainly hope that you'll ask your family to buy plane tickets. To <laughs> 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 yes, I got a chance to talk to you earlier this week, and you told me that, that your team was pumped. And the way you guys played these three games, the forecheck was stronger, the defense was stronger, and I believe truly the passing was better. It was a much better game that you played. And these last six games have been like, stay on the edge of your seats <laughs> because they've been just some of the best hockey I've seen in a long time. It was very good. Yeah, we appreciate that. And it's a credit to the guys and how hard they work and everything they've talked about here tonight and what they do behind the scenes, right? We ask them to be uncommon when and nobody's- where do you buy a three-color pen? <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually four. Uh, these are at, on sale at teacher stores, I think. My, my third grade teacher had one. So, I appreciate that. They're awesome. Any other questions? Coach, any closing thoughts? No, just it's really exciting. Again, we want this room packed every night like it is tonight. And, and thanks for being on the journey with us. And we're excited to continue. And Really looking forward and hopeful that you'll see us again close to home. Thank you.